Hey guys, Eric here from High 49 RC. It's currently 5 in the morning and it is time to go to Autism Awareness Crawl 2021. I am so excited. Got all my stuff packed up. Sorry, I know I just turned the lights out. But it's because we're leaving. So, let's go. Alright, got my backpack. Got my cooler full of uh, cold stuff. Got my camping gear. Let's see. Got a bag of food, boots, water jug, pillow, crawler batteries. Crawlers, you can't see. I know, I'm sorry. Got all my sleeping bag and my air mat. And I think it's time to hit the road. Well guys, we're here. Uh, I just paid for my truck for parking and I'm head down to registration right now. This place is pretty cool actually. I was a little bit dubious about the terrain, but looks like it should be pretty good. Welcome to the red car right behind the registration. We got fresh coffee and donuts. Free for anyone that wants any. Satisfy jerky. Go get satisfied. Pick up some jerky, guys, for the trail. Got cheese meat chassis now. All right. Brad is sitting down. The winners. In third place, we have Mr. Ray Atkins with the white C Tech. Can I get a round of applause, guys? In second place, we have the Cali RC, Cali 78, with the beautiful pinstriper down here. Can I get a big round of applause for our man? <laughs> First place, this kind of goes without saying, and I'm kind of tired of seeing this guy win at every event. Mr. Luke Claxton with Reefs RC, with the awesome drag C10, detail to the team. Do me a favor, pictures taken, AAC21, pick, P-I-C, hashtag them. We're looking for them as soon as we get back into civilization. Well, at this point, I'm just waiting for the, like, opening ceremonies. The show and shine just finished. I went and actually used the bathroom for the first time in, like, two hours, which is, like, really nice. Having a lot of fun, having a snack. 
didn't win the show and shine or anything, but I mean, I think we all know, like, if they knew how much custom work I put into this and all into both of these rigs, I think I would have won. I know, that's kind of like, you know, but hey, it's all good. We're having a good time. Got one of the trails here behind me. I'm not sure if this is one of the proper trails or just like a little fun run obstacle course kind of thing, but I'll update you when the opening ceremony starts and then I'll probably head back to my truck, you know, get my shit together and then head out on the trails. Opening ceremonies happen, it's kind of boring, you know, a lot of jibber jabber, people lining up, taking pictures, you know, the usual kind of stuff. Got my sunscreen on, got my bag packed, got my truck ready to go. This will put my business car on top. You know, gotta have a little bit of advertising. And I'm just gonna take this one for now because lunch will be in like two hours. So I'll check out the trails with this because it's kind of the most capable all around her. And then after lunch, we'll take out rigs based on the terrain and then make a video specifically with that, I guess. So yeah, good times are happening. Lunch has been had, the hot dog and some chips and you know, hopefully it doesn't make me feel like crap later because sorts of things tend to, because I don't eat much of that. But uh, I got some good filming in in the first half of the day. Moving on, I'm not really doing any of the events. There was some hill climb stuff. Don't know if you'll end up have seen, don't know if you guys will end up have seen that. And there's some monster truck stuff going on too. I'm not really sure when that is. Honestly, I don't really care because I don't have any monster trucks or nothing. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna take the Glond out now and crawl around for a bit. Probably do the first trail because that's a little bit easier or find something that it can do that's not super sketchy or anything. But uh, the, the custom wheels that I made on my SCX-10 actually worked out fantastically. I've had no issues at, with them whatsoever. Uh, did not slip a bead at all. The tires are working really good. I really, really like them. Um, they hold air. I didn't vent them or anything, so they're holding up pretty good. But, uh, you know, keep you guys posted. It's a little warm, but you know, it is what it is. Sean here from Sean PRC, and uh, we're chilling. So we just finished the raffle. I didn't win anything. Not really a big surprise, but you know, it's all for a good cause. Um, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna break out the camp stove. I'm gonna cook up some food, and then get ready for the night crawl. Here's dinner. Got some turkey in the pan. Got some uh, rosemary sourdough bread, corn on the cob, and uh, we're cooking away. This is so much fun. Honestly, this is kind of like my first time kind of camping out on my own, and I'm enjoying it. Definitely enjoying it. Looking forward to some warm food though, for sure. Man, now that was like the best turkey sandwich I've had in such a long time. It was delicious. After a long day, you're tired, you're hungry. Oh, nothing hits the spot more than rosemary bread sourdough and a little bit of Italian seasoning on your turkey sandwich. Oh, so good. 
corn. Could have warmed it up a little bit more, but I was hungry, so I just ate it, and it was good. Now we're gonna wash up, clean the pans, get everything washed up and put away for the night, and then get ready for the night crawl. Well guys, today has been a really awesome day. Thank you guys so much for sticking along with this video. Basically for the remainder of the day, I you know, had dinner and then um, went out for the night crawl and met up with the people from Hardcore RC Lynx. They are super cool, had tons of laughs, had tons of fun out on the night trail. It was a really good trail, you know, bumping into each other, running each other off rocks. It was just a grand old time and I loved every second of it. The beginning of the day was a little awkward because I've never been to an event by myself before. But once I got into it and started talking to people and people were asking me about my rigs, you know, it all just kind of came naturally and I had a great time. So uh, about to lay down here. This is my setup. I've got a sleeping pad, like an air mattress thing underneath. Sleeping bag, grandma's quilt inside sleeping bag and I have a sweater over this away in case it gets a little chilly but I am wearing short sleeve and long sleeve sweatpants and socks so I should be good it's really not that cold it is perfect temperature for camping it's just brisk enough that the sleeping bag is all you need the moon is shining the stars are bright thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one